Hey everyone, and on today's episode of Pinchao's Garage, we're going to teach you how to turn off those pesky coolant light and wiper lights after you delete them, because obviously when you delete them, you're going to have a light on. So let's get to work, because this is Pinchao's Garage. So step one, um, if you did follow my DIY for the wire tuck on the passenger side, you're going to have all that wire uh, tucked in over here underneath your um, uh, cabin air filter area. So we're going to have to show you guys and determine which wires are what so you guys can turn off these lights. Um, so they're very, very simple. So in the kit that we provide you with, with our coolant ball delete kit, you should be receiving two jumper wires like this. Um, these jumper wires are strictly for turning off those lights so you don't get them and we're going to show you which one to the which wires or which uh, pigtails are the ones that coincide with your uh, the lights on your dash so on the main loom on the passenger side where your coolant ball resides on the right of it you should have this big pigtail there's two of them that run together um, there's this guy and then this one. The really, really big one right here is for your cooling ball level. Obviously, when you get rid of the cooling ball and you run my delete kit, you're going to have a sensor disconnected. So uh, with your pigtail, you're going to put one on each end and you're going to plug them in. Now, to make sure that you got it right, we're going to go over here and you should be getting a warning light on your dash if it's not plugged in correctly. And I'll show you what it looks like when we do it now since this is a 2005 uh, it's gonna give you a stop symbol or a warning on the dash in just a second you should have a flashing light right here on the upper left hand corner come on there it is now that's your coolant level sensor um, if it's not plugged in uh, it's uh, going to give you that light and you'll see the wiper one is immediately kicked on with it. So that's how you know if they're on or not. So we're going to go right over here. I'm going to do one at a time. So you guys can see right there, we jumped the wire just like that. And then for these to stay in place, you're going to fold the wire over and electrical, electrical, electrical tape it around. And you'll see I electrical taped it in a circle and then now we're going to go over it uh, the reason why we're doing this is to create prevent moisture as much as we can to build up inside of here since we're going to be putting it inside uh, the rain tray underneath here so this is just to keep uh, as much condensation out of this as possible now i know it doesn't look great but the whole goal again is just to prevent moisture condensation because all we're trying to do is just to get that pigtail for that jumper to do its job and turn off that light if you guys have a better way of closing this please um, give me a recommendation and then i'll see if i can develop a better way of doing this so we're going to head on over here and then turn on that dash or the lights and then see if we stop that should take a few seconds and we should only be getting now the, the, the one for the wiper and not for the coolant. There we go. So now we only have to do is fix that one other light and we're good to go. So now we got this pigtail and the bottom, the one for the wiper. Again, looks horrible, but you can push it out of the way and forget about it same with this guy tuck that sucker back underneath here and let's go confirm what we did it 
So now in a couple seconds we should get no lights at all and the car should be fine. And there you go, not a single light. So now we're gonna fire it up just to confirm our repair. Make sure I don't have anything in the way over here. Just this, okay. Again, we should only have a light for, honestly nothing. <laughs> Close the door. There you go. So there you guys have it. That's all you need to do to um, to get those lights off when you do the power steering relocation, when you delete your um, wiper reservoir and your coolant ball. All right, if you guys really enjoy these tips and these DIYs, please down below, click on the link to become a Patreon member. Um, in these hard times, this is the only way we're going to be able to create more and more content for you guys. And again, we have a, a new uh, project coming, which we're going to be building a car for you guys. And it's going to be 100% Patreon funded. And we're going to give it away to one lucky Patreon member. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in this episode of Pinch Al's Garage. Have yourself a wonderful day and be safe out there. All right. Peace out. And as always, we're going to break fix and repeat.